Ensign, the Navy SEAL. First active in 1961, the Navy SEALs operate in both special reconnaissance and direct action roles throughout the world. Their training regimen is so intense that only 20% of candidates make it through. Equipped with unrealistic technology, the SEALs are forced to be reckoned. My name is John Beck, and I'm a Navy SEAL. People talk about the best of the best. Well, we're even better than that. Navy SEALs are the most elite, well-trained, deadly soldiers of any fighting force, past or present. And I feel bad for any enemy stupid enough to go against us. Lieutenant John Beck has seen action in Iraq, Afghanistan, the Philippines, Kosovo, Bosnia, Panama, Lebanon, Canada, and Vietnam. There's no doubt in my mind that the SEALs will come out on top. Whereas he has to get up close to use his weapon, I can just shoot him before he does. There's no contest. Boys, I'd like to introduce you to the M16. This puppy fires 5.56 NATO round at about 800 rounds per minute. It was first used in the 1960s and has a reputation for being very, very reliable. This puppy will put a hole into a one-man army Danger Close Noob 2 player from over 600 yards away. You have two magazines and 30 seconds to do as much damage to the target as you can. Get ready. Ready! Three, two, one, go! As you can see, there's a very well-defined three-round burst right there in the area of his dorsalis pedis. He would have bled out within seven hours. It would have been an instant final stand victory. Good shot. This shot right here is very deceiving. You might not be able to tell, but it's very close to a jugular. With server leg, it could easily hit him in the neck. That's a good shot. Thanks, and that's the great thing about the M16. It compensates for skill. You don't even have to worry about bullet drop. Are you ready? Ready! Three, two, one, go! All right, let's look at the target. If you look at the high-speed footage here, you're looking like frame by frame. First frame, he's here. Second frame, he completely disappears. Third frame, he reappears while knifing the target. If you actually calculate the distance and time out of these shots, he is breaking the light speed barrier. That's nothing. I got something far more impressive than that. I'd like to see that.